Hi everyone! In my previous video, I showed you how to create and set up my online store. In this video, I'm going to show you how to customize your whole online store to make it your own. So I'm logged into the editor and I've chosen this online store template. And the first thing I'm going to do is change my website name on the top corner. I'll just click on it and I'll update it to my store name. If you want to upload a logo to show in your header, you can toggle it on right here. And then upload your own logo. But I don't have one yet, so I'll just keep that toggled off. You can also change the call to action button. Right now, it's linked to my first store collection section on my shop page. And I'll just leave that as is. But you can click the link to right here to change where the button will take your visitors. So you'll see the call to action button is right here. You can also choose the social media links that you want to show on your header. So I'll click edit. And here are the icons that are already showing on my header. You can remove them if you don't want. And I'll just add the URL to my social media profile. And you can also add more icons just by clicking here. Just click save and then click the X. So this whole header section on the top of the website is global. So all of the changes that you make here will apply to all the pages on your website. Now I'm gonna move on to the body of my website and I'll just click on the hero. If you wanna change this large hero image, just click on it and on the left here, you could choose to upload and change an image right away, or you can select from your files. I'll click Select from Files. I'm going to choose a stock image that comes copyright free with my account. I'll choose a category. Click on the image I want to use and then click Save. If you want to use your own photo, just make sure your image has a high enough resolution so that it doesn't look blurry or pixelated, which can cheapen the feel of your online store. Now I'm going to change the text and the button on the hero. So first I'll click on the title. And I can make the changes to the text right here or on the left. Right here. I'm going to leave the subtitle blank and I'll just toggle it off. And I'll change the description right here. Now I'm going to move on and look at the buttons on my hero. So right now there's a button that says shop now. It's currently linked to the store collection section that's on my shop page. I'll just leave that as is, so I'll just click Cancel. For my secondary button, if you don't want to have one, you can just toggle it off. But I want to have it linked to a specific collection, and a collection is a category for your products. I'll edit the button label right now to shop the sale. After adding the button label, you'll need to click to link it to a specific collection, but I haven't made that sale collection yet, so I'm just going to show you how to make that collection first so I can link the button to it. So we'll just click on the website.com logo to go back to start, and then I'll click store. Now I'll click view all products, and then collections. Now these are the collections that are already on my store. And to add a new one, I'll just click Add New Collection. So first I'll change the collection name to Sale. I'll add a description. And now I'll start adding the products that I've added to my store already to my collection. And then I'll click Save. So now these four items are in my sale collection. And then I'll click Save again. So I'll click out of the store manager. And I'll just click back to start. So I'm already on the page I want to work on. But if you want to navigate to another page, just click Manage Pages. And then click on the page you want to go to. 
So I'll click that secondary button. And now under link to, I'll click on that. I'll click store. Store collection. And now I'll choose to connect it to the sale collection. And then click save. So now when my visitors click on this button, they'll be led to a collection page of all my sale products. Now we'll just scroll down and look at the sections on the page. I'll just click on this section. And you'll see that this section is a collection that's connected to all my products. And I'll just leave that. But I don't want to show this header image, so I'm going to toggle that off. And I also don't want to show so many products all at once. So I'm going to limit the products per page to six. So now that I've done that, there'll be pagination for the visitors to click through. So I'm happy with the changes I've made to this section, so I'll scroll down again. And I want to add a new section and link it to another collection. So I'll just click Add Section. I'm going to add a new collection, so I'll click Store. And here you can choose the different layouts of your collections. I'll choose this one right here. And like I did for the other section, I'm going to toggle off the header image. I'm going to limit it to six. And then I'm going to change the collection and choose to show my featured products. Now I'll scroll down again and we can go ahead and update the footer. So I'll just click on that. So like we did for the header, we can go ahead and change the info here. You can go ahead and change your contact details or edit your social media links like we did for the header. And you can choose whether or not you want to have a copyright message on your footer. And just a note, like the header section, the footer section on the bottom of your website is also global, which means that all of the changes you apply here will be the same across all of your pages. So now that I've made most of the changes on my online store homepage, we can go and take a look at other pages. Just click the website.com logo to go back to the start. And then click Manage Pages. So here you'll see a list of your website pages or links on your website menu. So for the template that I'm using in this video, my shop page is already the homepage for my website, which is the first page visitors will see when they enter your site. If you've started with a different template, you can easily make the shop page your home page if you'd like. For any page that you want to make your home page, just click on the settings icon and then choose set as home. But I'm going to leave the shop as my home page right now. You can also use the drop down at the top of the builder to navigate to other pages. So the first thing I'm going to do is see if there are any pages that came with my template that I don't want. And if you want to delete that page, just click on settings and then click delete page. This will completely delete the page and remove it from your website menu. I'm going to keep the pages that came with my site design. I'm going to go ahead and click on about. Just like we did on the home page, you can edit the content on it just by clicking on a section and seeing what you can edit on that section on the left here. To entirely delete a section, for example, if I want to delete this section here, I'll just click on it and then click delete section on the top right. And then click delete. Now we'll go to the contact page and I'll use this drop down to navigate to it. So the contact page comes with a contact form. You can edit the title of the description for the form and to look at your submissions, just click manage form submissions. I like how there's Google Maps on this section and I'll just click on it and I'll just customize the address on it.
So now I've customized my entire website. If you want to preview your site, you can just click preview on the top left. All websites made with the website.com site builder are responsive, which means they're automatically optimized for smart devices. You can click on the mobile and tablet icons to see what they'll look like when viewed on smaller screens. A lot of shoppers like to browse on their phones rather than on a desktop, so you'll make sure you're not missing out on any potential customers. When you're ready to take your website online, just click Publish in the top right and your website will be live. Thanks so much for watching this video. Bye!